When it comes to Chinese homage watches, 2022 was some year. And if you were to ask me to pick a favourite, I would say 2022 was Boltony's year. Why? Well, for sheer build quality, depth of range and value for money, they were unmatched. But it's now 2023 and they've been quiet. Until now. Boltony are back. So let's check them out. Hi there and welcome back to John's Watch Joint and welcome to a brand new watch from Boltony, the first of 2023 and those of you who know my channel know that I reviewed five of their watches last year. I was really taken by them simply because the quality was there, the price was there, the finishing was there and the depth of range was superb and I really gravitated to their style of watches. Not for everyone but I really appreciated it. Now this is the first of three new releases that I know of. This is the Boltony S184012A. Bit of a mouthful. There is also another watch, an Explorer style of watch. And I have that on the way as well from AliExpress. And I believe there's also a Moon Phase coming out too. So this one is going to be slightly different simply because I ordered it from Boltony UK. And I did that because I wanted to find out what the buying experience was like. So let's get into the watch. Now when I review a Boltony watch I always like to start with the packaging simply because they're one of the few brands that has the name and the logo perfect. It really is good. It says quality. The box says quality and the name is excellent unlike some other Chinese brands and will not say any more on that. When you open it up you have a lot of protection inside here, foam on both sides, you have a signed microcloth there from Boltony, you also get your little instruction booklet there for the VD78 from Seiko, that's the movement, and you get a signed and stamped warranty card. And it's really nice, suits the watch very well and as you'll see there is a two year warranty. Inside there also you get a little toolbar and that's basically for freeing up your strap for strap changes. And then of course you get the watch itself. And this thing is really a little gem of a watch, it's a beautiful looking piece. Now when it comes to my order from Boltonic UK, I had no issues at all. They kept me in the loop at all times and even though there was a slight delay because it was new stock, I got this watch very quickly indeed. Now I didn't tell them who I was when I ordered the watch and I paid full price, but I did ask them for a discount for my subscribers. So on the right hand side there you will see a code JWJ15 and if you use that code in your cart for the rest of 2023, you will get £15 off your purchase. That isn't half bad and I have to say thank you very much Boltonet UK. You didn't have to do that. It is a small channel but I really do appreciate it and I'm sure my subscribers will appreciate it as well. So with that aside, let's get on with the specifications of this watch. Now you could be forgiven for thinking this watch is just a reiteration of last year's bubble bike watches but you wouldn't be correct in that assumption simply because this is a completely new dial, completely new handset and it's also a different design. You also have a difference in the thickness of the watch. Last year's watches were 13mm thick, in fact they were 13.6mm thick because they were housing either an NH38 and that was for the watch with the Mercedes hands or that had the bubble back and that one had the seagull movement in it and that's the watch that I had. These were both 13.6 thick and this is only 12.6 millimeters thick and that makes a huge difference when you're trying to slip this under your cuff. So it's a lot more versatile. So here are the specifications. So let's run through them very quickly. This is the Boltony S184012A. I bought this from Boltony UK. This is made from 316L stainless steel. It houses the Seiko VD78 quartz movement, which we know is very reliable indeed. The diameter is 36 millimeters. The lug to lug is 43.9 millimeters. The lug width is 18 millimeters, and we only have a thickness of 12.6 millimeters rather than 13.6 on last year's model. So it's really nice to slip under the cuff. It has a leather strap. We have a sapphire crystal with clear AR coating underneath and we also have a polished fixed bezel. Water resistance is 100 meters and that comes with a screw down crown 
and of course a screw down case back. The back is polished and there's a mixture of polished and brushed finishes on the watch. Luminova is C3 Super Luminova. Now you'll see it in the daylight here, it looks faux patinaed, but don't let that fool you. We shall see the loom on this later on in the cupboard of doom. Alright, so those are the specifications. Let's have a look at this guy on the wrist. Yeah, what a lovely watch. The only way I can describe this watch, two words, ruggedly beautiful. I think that kind of describes it. It's definitely a Gada watch. It's one of these watches you can really wear anywhere. You can wear it with a suit and a collar. You could wear it in a t-shirt. Or you could equally wear it on a beach with shorts and a casual shirt. You can dress it down. I mean, as it is just now, it's just perfect, but you could dress it down with a military strap or you could put it on some sort of Milanese to dress it up just fractionally, but it is just beautiful. But if I just pull the watch to the side just now, I'll pull up the loom shot on this watch. Now, as you can see, this thing has got loom and spades and from the previous couple of seconds of video there, you could see it does very well on the loom department. No issue at all when reading this watch at 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. It's a full patina, but it's a very strong full patina. And that C3 Super Luminova certainly does a great job. But now we've seen the Luminova as well. Let's have a closer look at the finishing of this watch and then we'll finish up. So you're probably thinking just now this is going to be a gushing review of this watch. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. When it comes to Boltony, I liked everything I saw last year. But this year, I'm taking my rose-coloured glasses off. And I'm just going to look at it from a new perspective. Now, first of all, what I'll do is I'll take the watch away. And I'll bring up the screenshot just now. And it's just showing you the options available for this watch. So there are four options in total. So on the left-hand side here, you have the version I've got in my hand today, which is the black and silver. That's £125. But if you opt for the version with the gold bezel and the gold crown, it's £135. Then you move on to the white versions. The white version with the silver dial and the silver crown is 125 but again if you go with the gold bezel and the gold crown that's 135 so four versions two different prices and if you take your 15 pounds off with that code jwj15 from Boltony uk it'll certainly bring it closer to that 100 pounds mark now i'll bring the watch back in just now and i'll bring it in just that fraction closer and let's have a proper look at this guy now, to make sure we see the face properly, I've moved the time back to 10 past 10, and we can see we have a mixture of polished and brushed surfaces on this watch. If we turn around and look at the flanks, first of all, look at the beautiful luster on that polished flank there. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful curves, and they haven't put a hard chamfer on the edge there, and I think that was the right decision to make. You've got a beautiful linear brushing on the top there, and then you've got your two lines delineating the widths of the strap itself 18 millimeter and then in between there you can see there's a vertical brushing and that's been executed extremely well so really nice linear brushing on the top then you have that beautifully polished bezel it's absolutely gorgeous and then the symmetry between that and the sapphire crystal on the top the way it goes together look at that beautiful profile it's just gorgeous before I get to the dial of the watch, we'll turn over onto the back. This is not everyone's cup of tea. It's a polished back. Now, I like this simply because I'm going to treat myself this year. I'm keeping this watch and I'm going to mark the back of it to say thank you to myself for the hard work for this year. Now, coming on to the actual dial and face of this watch, it wouldn't really matter if this crystal wasn't so good. Look at the beautiful crystal on this watch. This is where Boltony always excel. Look at that. The quality of the crystal and the anti-reflective coating just make this watch an absolute beauty to look at. That's what makes this watch. Now the colour of the dial itself married with that faux patina 
It's a marriage made in heaven. It really is beautiful. The colours go so well together. And in turn, that allows you to see everything very clearly along that half minute track on the outer edges there. Look how detailed that is. Look at the minutiae on the outside of that. They've even numbered it at the end. This is 05, 10, 15, etc. all the way around. Your sub seconds, absolutely beautiful. Sunk into the face there at the bottom. Seiko VD78 is very high in accuracy and it also does really well when it comes to hitting all the markers. So that's really appreciated. Really nice. Now the thing I love about this face, the thing that really attracts me to this face, is the truncated indices at the 5 and the 7. And they catch the edges of that sub-seconds and it makes it look like a little desk clock. That's what I see when I see the face of this watch and I really appreciate that. It reminds me of the olden times I used to go around to my granny's and it's just great. I just love it. So that's what you have below the pinion there. And above the pinion you have Boltony, just the Boltony logo and no... 100 meters water resistance is just perfectly balanced. Now the one thing I have got a problem with is the color of the loom on the hands. There is a slight discoloration there and that's what's disappointed me with Boltini this time. They usually get it spot on and they haven't quite got it this time. Is it a deal breaker for me? No, but it might be a deal breaker for some. When it comes to the operation of the movement itself, simplicity itself, nice little pop there. Pull it out to the, the second position hacks the movement and away you go again and it's very very simple to use and the crown is a perfect size as well I just do think maybe you should have put the Boltony logo on that quality of the strap is very good as you would normally expect from Boltony though I have heard issues of people saying they do split over time I've not had that issue so far on the W10 that I had for a long while, I had it for 3 or 4 months, wore it pretty much every day. I had no splitting at all, so I don't know if that's still the case, but it seems to be pretty good. And the other thing I don't think they've got right with this watch is the coloration on the actual buckle and tang. So if you look at that, it's a matte bead blasted finish, whereas you have polished and brushed finishes on the watch, then you've got this satinized feel on there. I don't know why they've done that, they should have went for brushed finish rather than satinized finish and they maybe should have went with a little botany logo there so just a couple of things that you know aren't quite right that could be improved in a version 2 if they do do a version 2 but other than that this is a fantastic little watch the dimensions are right it's just a beautiful watch on the wrist and it sits really really well so it sits really flush to the wrist i really do enjoy it so in essence, you know, do I like the watch? Absolutely, I do like it. Would I mark it out of 10? Yes, I would mark it out of 10. I would say it's about an 8.5. I think marks are deducted for the coloration of the loom on the hands and the fact that they haven't really thought about the buckle and tang. Just little details like that can make a difference. Uh, other than that, I think it's an absolutely beautiful watch. Ruggedly beautiful, simple and elegant. It's a great little watch. So anyway, this has been John from John's Watch Joint. I'm going to leave it there just now. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and remember to use your code at Boltony UK. If you can't shop at Boltony UK, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get the watch elsewhere. All right. Thanks very much, guys. I'll catch you again on the next one. Ta-ra for now.